So it's been a while since we talked about credit cards. Uh, I just got my uh, annual renewal bill from American Express. Whew, $695 renewal. That's painful. Let's just call it 700 to make my math easy. So given that, I usually try to, you know, every year sit back and think, am I using this card to make paying a $700 bill worthwhile? I think everybody should probably ask themselves that question on a regular basis. So I thought I would ask it with you all today and share what I've been seeing with my card. So like I said, it's a pretty beefy um, annual fee and it's good to, good to review it. So I'm going to go through the benefits that I use on the card and some of the other benefits that there are that I don't use. Maybe you'd like it. And some of the ones that, yeah, I've got, but I, I, I'm not sure I would have if I didn't have the card, which I guess is sort of the whole point of why they do this, to get you hooked on these benefits. And we'll break that down. And then I'm going to talk some more about uh, some of the benefits I've, that I claim that I use, but I had a little trouble using, but ultimately did use. Okay, let's talk about the expenses that I actually use. So right off the top, Uber Eats. Uber, Uber Eats, either one works. I tend to use Uber Eats nowadays. I can order food, have it delivered, and it's super cheap around here to get, easy to get, and I get 15 bucks a month, 20 bucks in, in December. I, it's easy for me to use up. I just, that's 200 bucks consumed quick and easy. The other one that's really easy to use is a digital entertainment. You just pay for the entertainment with your American Express and you get it. So for me, Hulu and um, Audible, those come right off my American Express. That's 240 a year. Those two alone are 440 bucks. So a couple that um, are a little less clear are the airline credits. That's difficult to use. I have found ways to use it, and I'm going to talk more about that in a minute. Same way with the hotel credit. When I was living in the States, I never used it. I've only ever used that outside the States because of hotel prices, and we'll talk more about that in a minute. Then there's the Clear and Priority Pass. I wouldn't have Clear if it wasn't free. I just don't have enough airports that I go through that have Clear. I love it. It's great when it's there, but it's just not there enough, and I've got Priority Pass uh, TSA priority, so it doesn't uh, make add that much for me. The more nebulous one to score as far as pricing is the priority pass. The, there is no equivalent exact name priority pass, but the privileges that you get with the American Express added priority pass is basically the same as the top level, so I pegged it up 469, and it's awesome. I love the lounges. I get into all the lounges for free. I can take a guest in for free. It's great. I use that all the time. Clear not so much, so it's a little iffy if you can count that. But even if you take off Clear, you can clearly see that I am way past the $700 cost for this card in savings. Now, those aren't the only uh, credits that you can get on the American Express. There's a lot more. Here's the big ones that show up on their main web page. Uh, Walmart plus membership. I actually enrolled in this when I lived in the States, and I get reimbursed, but... You know, I don't really shop at Walmart. There's none where I live anymore. Uh, Saks Fifth Avenue, not my kind of store. Uh, the Equinox thing, not my thing either. I don't probably should go to gym, but there's no gyms. There's no Saks Fifth Avenue. There's no Walmart down in South America or, or over in Europe where I like to hang out. So these do me no good, but they might be great for you. As I mentioned, a couple of these were difficult for me to use, and I haven't used, always used them in past years. So one of the problems is the airline credit. I like Delta. I like it a lot. I fly it a lot when I can, and I have platinum status on Delta. So the airline credit, you have to pick an airline, and I pick Delta because that's what I fly a lot. Um, one could argue maybe that's not the best choice. The problem is that the airline credit is to cover non-ticket items like check bag fees, uh, drink fees, food on board, things like that. Well, as a Platinum member, I don't pay for drinks. I don't pay for food. I don't pay for Wi-Fi. I get three free check bags, and I, and I'm, and I travel with one bag uh, on my back. So none of these benefits work for me on Delta because I already have them all as being a Delta Platinum member. 
maybe I should assign it over to an airline like um, American. I fly American sometimes, but I don't have status on there. So I really don't get much for on that airline for free. So I have to pay a lot. So it might be better to put that on there. But that's not where it is this year. So I did find a hack to uh, take advantage of it. This is it's, it's specific to Delta. It may work on other airlines. I don't know. But this is very much specific to Delta. So Delta has gift cards. But you cannot buy a gift card with that $200 airline credit. It has to be an airline fee, non-ticketing. So what I did was I booked a, a flight um, somewhere, I think Miami, uh, out of Miami. And so I actually booked it on LATAM, but I booked through the American uh, the, the, the Delta website for it. But it's a LATAM flight. Doesn't matter. It's still considered a Delta ticket. So I booked the flight. It's like 400 bucks. Yeah, I think it was it was for something. I don't remember the exact price. Doesn't matter. So I bought a uh, two hundred dollar gift certificate uh, for and, and gave it to myself. So I've got the gift certificate. I paid for the air flight with the gift certificate, and that left a delta of two hundred something dollars, well over the two hundred dollar airline fee. So the extra charge above the gift certificate is seen as an airline fee. And thus, American Express will refund up to $200 of that. And that's how I got the airline credit. You got to play some tricks, a little bit of a hack there. Um, I've done this a couple of times now, and it worked perfectly fine. Nobody said anything. I don't think I'm breaking any rules or anything because th it happens automatically. It's just a nice little hack. So you buy a gift certificate for yourself, use it on an airline. You get the, the difference, goes in as a fee, and will be credited on the American Express uh, bill up, of course, to that $200 airline uh, fee reimbursement. The other item that I used was the hotel credit. You get $200 a year a hotel. I have had trouble using that, and I don't think I have used it um, ever in the United States because you have to use a hotel out of the American Express hotel collection or American Express um, resort collection. So one day in a resort or two days in a in a hotel collection. The problem is those are really expensive properties. You know, it is just not worthwhile unless you feel like you want to stay on a really expensive property. I almost never do. So, you know, I'm not going to book a 600 night um, hotel to score a $200 credit. That's $400 I got to pay out of pocket and I can find a hotel for a hundred bucks. You know, it just doesn't, is it worth it? I, I don't need a $600 hotel. I'm more of a super eight sort of fella. So that's not been worth it. However, overseas, especially in Latin America, this is the only place I've used this hotel credit because the hotels are cheap. The hotel collection ones, which are super nice hotels. I would never stay in these hotels in the US because they're too expensive, but in Latin America, no, they're not too expensive. So I booked a, a, a Two nights in a city that I wanted to visit, it's a hundred bucks a night ish, you know, like 104 or something. But let's just say a hundred bucks a night. I booked two nights on the hotel. That gets me the the $200 credit back. That's basically a free hotel. Plus, I get a hundred dollar uh, credit for things inside the hotel when I use the American Express and book through their travel site. So I was able to take advantage of this and I go to a city I want to go to, get a hotel better than I probably would have gotten. <laughs> And it's basically free. That's how I use the hotel credit. So I hope you find these videos interesting. Uh, this is how I'm justifying the American Express. I'm coming out way ahead on it this year. And um, that's it. I just wanted to share it with you. I hope you find this interesting. If you do, hit subscribe. I come out with random videos on credit cards, airline flight, nomadic travel, sometimes just drinking videos. Who knows? Enjoy the, your evening. And I'll thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.